Welcome to another edition of the Women's News with Between Two Femmes. Um, an interesting article has surfaced this week about baby brain, or aka pregnancy brain. Um, a lot of women like to complain about how they become more forgetful during pregnancy. I feel that that forgetfulness has like just stayed with me <laughs> for life. <laughs> it's you, still my condition. You've been forgetful for the last early onset Alzheimer's. Years. I'm like that film. But anyway. now, but, but now listen to what the scientists are saying because whenever scientists say something, we have to pay attention. We right. should. Now, they conducted tests where they took a group of pregnant women and they ran some brain tests on them or memory tests. And then they did the exact same thing with women who are not pregnant. And they found that the two groups performed equally as well. So scientists are saying, actually, this baby brain thing is not so much it's a, a real myth. thing. It's a myth. Or a crutch, depending on... <laughs> it's a convenient which... excuse for when women mm. are just, uh, you know, mm. a little bit too tired and maybe irritated and ignored about being pregnant. So there you go. It doesn't exist. I could argue about that, but this week, something that does exist is yeah. apparently negative self-perception amongst women. So Dove did another one of those like sort of massive campaigns mm, they, that went viral all over the uh, world. And in five countries, they basically put up two signs on top of uh, shopping mall entrances. Mm -hmm. The one said average and the one said beautiful. And women had to choose which entrance they would walk through because, like, literally they cordoned it off. Okay, so depending on what you think you look like, you would either go through the average or the beautiful. Sadly, the vast majority of women chose to go through average. Yeah, this... And then you could see where people were making a choice and going, oh, actually, no. Hardly, Damn it, I'm beautiful. Hardly surprising, though. I, mean, I found I'm... it terrible that our internal narrative yeah. is still like yeah. that. I mean, I've often described myself as rather average, to, to be honest with you. And it's, then... it's like... Um, it's like we lack the self-confidence. My it's... belly, and you're so wrong Aww. because you are gorgeous. Aww. Gorgeous. <laughs> and you must choose beautiful. So that's the hashtag, choose beautiful. Okay. And the other sort of mammoth company that decided to also build women's self-esteem mm -hmm. because clearly it's a marketing, a route to marketing to women is build their self-esteem, which worries me slightly, um, is the new I'm No Angel campaign which is about uh, from what? Lane Bryant, mm -hmm. which is a, a another sort of manufacturer of lingerie. Okay. But their campaign came directly in opposition to the Victoria's Secret campaign where they showed the perfect body and all the perfect bodies, which create a lot of fracas and antagonism online right. when they posted this because the implication was that the perfect body can only be Candace Swanepoel's body, Bahati Prince Lewis body. Right, which is completely wrong because most of us don't look like supermodels. So this particular campaign has uh, some of the famous plus size models and okay. All right. normal looking women. Uh, so I'm no angel. I think it's quite cute. Let me ask you something. Should we be worried that there's so much attention focused on how women should think about themselves in terms of how we look? I feel like there's a lot of emphasis on our looks and our image, and our, but it's always but related to... But is that not to... our society? We've become this like Instagram society. It's yeah. really but appalling. Is, is it our society or is it women? I mean, are we, are we a little bit obsessed with our looks? I think we are. Apparently men are in the same boat. You're going to have to find the study for that yeah. next week. <laughs> Catch us again next week for another edition of the Women's News.